Hi everyone. Today I am here to teach you chapter two that is polynomial for class ten students. Polynomial, you have learned polynomial in class nine also. Polynomial in one variable. Let me tell you. Let me highlight you at some point. Polynomial in one variable. You have studied about degree. You have already studied about degree. What is degree? Degree means the highest power of a polynomial. The highest power is called degree. Okay? Polynomial of highest power. The highest power is called degree. Just say 2x cube plus 3x square. Here, this is also a variable. This is a variable. Where in one way, this is a polynomial. So in this polynomial, here the power is 3 and here the power is 2. So since here the power is 3, so that's why the power is 3 and here the power is 2. The highest power is 3, so degree is equal to 3. This is called degree. Degree means the highest power of the given polynomial. Hope it is clear. So if the power is the degree, if the degree is equal to 1, degree is equal to 1, then that is called a linear polynomial. What polynomial? Linear polynomial. Okay? And if the degree is 2, then that is called a quadratic polynomial. And if the degree is 3, then that is called a cubic polynomial. So if the degree is 1, that is called a linear polynomial. If the degree is 2, then that is called a quadratic polynomial. And if the degree is 3, then it is called a quadratic polynomial. So today, here we are going to discuss more about the quadratic polynomial. So, uh, everyone, everybody be on exercise 2.2. Let us do some sum here. 2.2 question number 1. Now see, whenever in, in class 9 also you have studied about solving the quadratic polynomial, solving the quadratic polynomials in one variable. Look. So, uh, here we are going to discuss a little bit about that. Uh, solving the quadratic polynomial in one variable, the very most formula that is middle term splitting. Middle term splitting. Middle term, with the help of middle term splitting uh, rule, you can find out, you can find out the values, you, you can find out the values of the zeros of the given polynomial. Now you see here, in 2.2 question number 1, they say, find the zeros of the following quadratic polynomial. Okay, find the zeros of the given quadratic polynomial. 1 x square minus 2x, x square minus 2x minus 8. That we will do by middle term splitting. So let us see how we can do. See the very first rule is the coefficient of x square, the coefficient of x square and the constant term. Coefficient of x, rule number 1, coefficient of x square and the constant term we are going to multiply. So coefficient of x square is 1 and the, and the constant term is 8. Only the magnitude you are going to take. 1, 8, ja, 8. 1, 8, ja, 8. So write down in the rough 1, 8, ja, 8. Now from this 8, I have to factorize this 8 and I have to get two numbers. How many numbers? Two numbers. That two numbers, which two numbers I will take? 8, 1, ja, also 8 coming, 2, 4, ja, also 8 coming. Which numbers shall I take? So, that two number you have to take, it depends on the sign of the constant term. It depends on the sign of the constant term. This is minus, so I have to choose two numbers. Subtracting that two number, I should get the middle term that is 2. Okay? If it is plus, then I have to get such a two number, which if I add, then I will get the middle term that is 2. Since it is minus, so I will search two numbers, I will find out two numbers, which if I subtract, then I will get two. So here, 8, 4, 2, ja, 8. So 4 minus 2 is 2. So I will choose 4 and 2. So 1x squared minus, in place of 2, I will write 4 minus 2. 4 minus 2. Always remember, the greater minus smaller you will take. Because if it is the case of addition, then there will be not 
much problem. But if it is a case of subtraction and if you are taking the smaller unit first and the larger unit, bigger unit second, then there will be a mistake. There is a chance of mistake. So don't do that. Don't uh, do that. Uh, take the bigger unit first and the smaller unit second. Though you are doing plus or minus, whatever level. If since it is minus, so we are doing minus. If it will be plus, we will search such few numbers. If we are adding that few numbers, we will we will uh, we will get the middle term. We will search like that. If it is plus, we will search such few numbers which if we add, we are getting the middle term. Since it is minus, we are searching such few numbers which we are subtracting and we are getting the middle term. So 4 minus 2, then x is there, minus 8. 1x squared, minus 4, minus into minus is minus 4, x, minus into minus plus 2 into x, 2x minus 8. So, here we can take common in this new term, x, x, x is common, since x common got 1x is left, so x minus x common, then what is left? 4 is left. Now, here plus, 2 and the 2, 2 for the 8, 2 is common, see, in place of 2 you can write 2 and the, in place of 8 you can write 2 for the, so 2 is common, so 2 common taken, that means 1 x is remaining, it means only x minus 2 common gone, what is remaining? 4 remaining. So here in this 2 term you see, in this 2 term, x minus 4, x minus 4, so x minus 4 is common, then what is left, here x minus 4 common gone, x is left, plus, is x minus 4 common gone, plus 2 is left. Done? So either this x minus 4 equal to 0, x plus 2 equal to 0. x minus 4 is equal to 0, then x equal to plus 4, and x plus 2 is equal to 0, then x equal to minus 2. So this 4 comma minus 2, 4 comma minus 2 are the zeros, are the zeros. Zeros of the given equation that is x square minus 2x minus 8. Zeros means the values which can satisfy the given polynomial. The values which can satisfy the given polynomial. Those values are called the zeros of that polynomial. Okay? So these two are the values which will satisfy the given polynomial. So we are calling these two as the zeros. Okay? So in this way we can do the middle term splitting. Now let us see uh, let us see question number 5. In question number 5, let's say if alpha and beta, if alpha and beta are the zeros of the polynomial, find a quadratic polynomial whose zeros are 3 alpha plus 4 beta and 4 alpha plus 3 beta. Now, before we start this sum, I would like to tell you some points that is, in quadratic polynomial, See, the formula to find out the, to form the quadratic polynomial is x squared minus sum of zeros, sum of zeros into x plus product of zeros, product of zeros, x squared minus sum of zeros plus product of this is the formula to find out to find out a polynomial. So here say alpha and beta are the zeros of the polynomial 2x square minus 5x plus 7. Given polynomial is given polynomial that is 2x square minus 5x plus 7. Now here, alpha and beta are the zeros. Alpha and beta are the zeros of this polynomial. Okay? So, sum of the zeros. Sum of the zeros. Of this polynomial, sum of the zeros. So, remember one thing. Sum of the zeros, that means zeros are alpha and beta. So, alpha plus beta is equal to. Sum of the zeros, one formula is there, that is minus b by a, minus b by a, minus b means this is the a, coefficient of x square is called a, coefficient of x is called b, and the constant term is called c, okay, coefficient of x square we are naming it as a, coefficient of x is b, and the constant term it is c, so 
sum of the zeros alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a minus b by a minus b minus b is how much b is minus pi this a is b minus pi by a a is how much 2 so minus into minus plus pi by 2 pi by 2 this is the sum of the zeros of this polynomial now product of zeros product of zeros of this polynomial let us see what is the formula c by a c by a is the formula for product of zeros so product here the c c it is plus 7 7 by a is 2 so we got product of zeros that is alpha into beta and sum of the zeros that is alpha plus beta alpha into beta and alpha plus beta value we got okay from this given equation from this given polynomial so what they say we have to find out the quadratic polynomial whose zeros are 3 alpha plus 4 beta and 4 alpha plus 3 beta we have to find out the polynomial what i have said you when whenever we need to find out the polynomial we have to know some of the zeros the zeros of that polynomial that sum their sum and product okay sum of the zeros and product of the zeros of the polynomial we have to know then only we can find out the polynomial and what are the zeros they have given 3 alpha plus 4 beta and 4 alpha plus 3 beta these are the zeros with these zeros we have to make a polynomial so we have to know their sum and their product so sum of zeros sum of zeros equal to first zero that is 3 alpha plus 4 beta plus second zero that is 4 alpha plus 3 beta 3 alpha plus 4 alpha 7 alpha plus 4 beta plus 3 beta is 7 beta 7 7 7 alpha plus beta 7 into alpha plus beta value how much we got here alpha plus beta 5 by 2 so 5 by 2 7 by 35 by 2 in the same way product of zeros also we will find out product of zeros equal to what are the zeros 3 alpha plus 4 beta into 4 alpha plus Beta. These are the zeros. We have to these two zeros. We have to find the product. So let us find the product of these two zeros, and let us know what is going to be. So see here, three alpha plus four beta, three alpha into first term into the second, three alpha into four alpha plus three beta. 4 alpha plus 3 beta plus 4 beta into 4 alpha plus 3 beta. First, we will with the first first unit we will multiply this one again in the second we will multiply this one. So 3 alpha into 4 alpha plus 3 beta plus 4 alpha into 4 alpha plus 3 beta. 3 four the 12 alpha into alpha alpha square. Plus three three the nine alpha into beta alpha beta plus four four the sixteen alpha into beta alpha beta plus four three the twelve beta into beta beta square. Now you see twelve alpha square plus nine alpha beta plus sixteen alpha beta that is how much twenty five alpha beta twenty five alpha beta plus Twelve beta square. Now you see here twelve alpha square, twelve beta square. So twelve we can take common alpha square plus beta square. That's plus twenty five alpha beta. Plus twenty five alpha. Now, now what we will do? Twelve a square plus b square. Alpha square plus beta square. A square plus b square. Formula is what? What is the formula? A plus B whole square. That is alpha plus beta whole square minus two alpha. Two alpha into what? Alpha square plus beta square. I am writing A 
प्लस बी होल स्क्वायर माइनस क्यू ए बी दैट इज अल्फा प्लस बीटा होल स्क्वायर माइनस क्यू अल्फा बीटा ओके दैट इज द फार्मूला बिकॉज़ वी डोंट हैव एनी वैल्यू फॉर अल्फा स्क्वायर एंड बीटा स्क्वायर वी हैव द वैल्यू फॉर ओनली अल्फा प्लस बीटा एंड अल्फा इनटू बीटा सो वी हैव टू कन्वर्ट दिस वन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अल्फा प्लस बीटा एंड अल्फा इनटू बीटा ओके सो वी हैव ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर फार्मूला ए प्लस बी होल स्क्वायर माइनस क्यू ए बी दिस फॉर्म वी हैव फ्रॉम प्लस 25 अल्फा बीटा I will say twelve alpha plus beta all square minus twelve beta twenty four alpha beta plus twenty five alpha beta. Hope it is clear. So twelve into alpha plus beta value was how much? Alpha plus beta value. Alpha plus beta value which was 5 by 2 square is here square minus 24 alpha beta plus minus 24 alpha beta plus 25 alpha beta plus alpha beta and plus alpha beta value which is 7 by 2 so 7 by 2. so 12 into 5 square is 25 by 2 square is 4 plus 7 by 2 4 3 are 12. 3 into 25 it is 75 plus 7 by 2. Also we will take 2. 2 into 75 is 150. 2 one job 177. 150 plus 7 one 50 7 one 50 7 by 2. So sum of the zeros we got here 25 by 2 and products of the zeros we got 157 by 2. How we have taken out sum of the zeros? Given zeros are 3 alpha and 4 plus 4 beta and another one is 4 alpha plus 3 beta. We have added this. Zeros and we have got seven alpha seven beta seven common taken alpha plus beta alpha plus beta value which was five by two which we have got from the previous given equation. So we uh, are putting the value and we got thirty five by two. And the product of the value given us three alpha plus four beta four alpha plus three beta with three alpha I have multiplied four alpha plus three beta again four four alpha uh, four alpha, four beta I have multiplied four alpha plus three beta. But after multiplication I got this. 12 alpha square 12 beta square 12 alpha square plus 12 beta square 9 alpha beta 16 alpha beta 16 alpha beta since it is 12 12 so I am taking 12 common alpha square plus beta square so plus 16 alpha beta we don't have any value for alpha square plus beta square so converting this one for a a square plus b square we can write a plus b whole square minus 2 ab okay so that means alpha plus beta whole square minus 2 alpha beta so 12 into alpha plus beta square 12 alpha plus beta whole square minus 12 to the 24 alpha beta plus 25 alpha beta. So 12 if this bracket second bracket if you are not given it, then you may multiply 12 only with alpha plus beta and you may forget to multiply with the second one that is 2 alpha beta. So your sum will be wrong. So remember to give this bracket. So uh, putting the value of alpha plus beta and minus 24 alpha beta plus 25 alpha beta it is 1 alpha beta. Alpha beta value it is 7 by 2. Putting this 7 by 2, 5 square is 25, 2 square is 4, 4 3 is 12, 3 25 75 plus 7 by 2, taking outside 80, 157 by 2. So now we now we got the zeros, we got the sum also, we got the product also. Now we will find the required polynomial. Required polynomial. What I said you, what is the formula of required polynomial? That is x square minus sum of zeros. Sum of zeros is 35 by 2 into x plus product of zeros. That is 157 by 2. If we are taking two common, if we are taking two, two it is in the denominator. If we are taking two common, then what we will get? 2x square minus 35x plus 157. That's all. Practice well. Be at home. Stay safe. Thank you.